hate to go to pick up that duty and go home. Seamlessly. And two people who didn't, perhaps one of them did um, multiple registration, or the other one, his name could not be found. And they are there, those two people are there shouting that this one says he has not done well. Nobody talks about the games that have seamlessly in many places. The evidence that this election went well in some places will take place when those who won the election in the opposition parties become themselves witnesses. Because when you say, let us cancel this election, it went bad. You are not going to tell the SDP folks in Nasarawa who the chairman of the ruling party is from their state. The governor is from a dominant political party. And yet, they left that dominant political party, some of them, and go, went and won election with a party that did not make any inroads in both presidential and governorship. You will not tell people of Kano who the dominant party in the presidential the dominant party at the presidency and dominant party in the state, they lost everything completely in that state. We will not come and tell them, let us throw this baby to the bad water. We will not tell the people of the southeast who voted the way they did. We are almost everybody who was participating, both as officials and voter. We are collapsed in a particular ideology. And their outcomes were not advocated. You can't tell them that these outcomes. So for me, it's important to be nuanced. And that's what I have continued to maintain. And for many people, they say, oh, you're an activist. And I say, no, no. So the activism is about, <laughs> is about critic. Your work is to criticize. And I said, no. At the point where I have got into, I also now have access. Access limits critique. If I have access to Uncle, my friend, I cannot, because if I have issues with him, I can sort it out with him. I don't need to come and grandstand outside so that people will say, because the whole idea of activism itself is problem solving. If you can't solve a problem, grandstanding will not solve it. So it's important to lay that background. I adopt um, Brenda's position on the electoral reform, uh, electoral. What you call it, uh, offensive challenge. But my challenge is that as a lawyer, you know that the, the role, the function of the police constitutionally, and you made that one, is that it should enforce all laws. Mm -hmm. That's the role it has in the constitution. It doesn't say enforce some laws. So the, the, the running away from responsibility that we see in terms of crimes that are now electoral crimes. For me, it does not make sense. It does not make sense. Law, vote by voter suppression is a law enforcement issue. The failure of law enforcement will not be resolved by monetary policy. You cannot use monetary or fiscal issues to solve a law, a law enforcement problem. People are buying votes. Police is supervising it. Supervising vote by and we don't know that it's a law enforcement issue, that it is the lack of capacity to enforce the laws. I have asked the question, if you have slap, that is Christmas slap, or Salah slap, if I slap somebody on Salah, they is Salah slap. It is slap. I have inflicted bodily injury on somebody. Those of you who are lawyers, tell me if there is no law that deals with that challenge. So, we have sourcing responsibility and romancing the indolence of people to take responsibility and do what they should do. And that, for me, has been the challenge of Nigeria. In 20, 20, um, 20, 2011, there are 870,000 8, voter registration crimes. Only 200 came to court. What do we do? We say, oh, it's the responsibility of INEC. So you produce the case file and then you hand it to INEC. INEC, Department of Legal Services. The budget of that department is what a senior advocate of Nigeria has in his back pocket. 
Ask the person you are saying should go and prosecute. We are jokers. So, the question about uh, whether you have won or you have not won, whether it's the freest or it is, it is for us to situate it in terms of the process. Outcomes are for partisans. Partisans are fixated on outcomes. People who are not partisans should be fixated on process. Yeah. And that is why those of us who are in the electoral observation services part of this business, in, in new ourselves, we take ourselves away so that we can have an eye and not be brought in into whether somebody has won or has lost. Because whether you lose or win, I don't know a political party in Nigeria that is a saint, that is not manipulating election, that is not voter support. This PDP ran this country for 16 years. What foundation did they lay in terms of electoral, electoral integrity and transparency? What did they lay? I have referred to what they did in 2003, 2007, up to 2011. Because we simply forget. I talked about truth, truth. I said there, is, there need to be a truth court. This, my friend, Zachary is talking from Kaduna, a partisan. <laughs> oh, the election is the worst that I've seen since 2000 and there's something. Okay. The, I don't know if you watched on television. The person who was um, representing PDP at the coalition center. Agent, now sound lawyer, but let me tell you something that happened here. He was talking about we were not giving from EC40G. Apple. It was a political party. Should the political party have from EC40G? No, you know. A political party can only have access to from EC8A. Yes. But on television, off his head, all those things he was saying. No. What was he doing? He was, he was just grandstanding. And people who should know were excited. And I'm sitting here. Dino Menaye came on national television, empty handed, mm -hmm. and said a process should stop. We clapped. We were clapping. Until we raise a food vanguard that confronts lies and propaganda. We will not come out. So it all comes from. So you say, oh, interest, interest. There are people who don't have interest. Mm -hmm. Let us be clear about that. There are people who don't have. Their interest is the truth. Let it be said. Truth is not very exciting, it's not popular. If I remove my shirt here now, Snap picture with, with my budget and put it on Facebook, Twitter. I will have more likes. If I write an article, two people, people will eat it and pass. <laughs> so, stupidity, ignorance attracts followership. Truth. It is many years after that people will come and say what you said is true. So, don't be carried away. The fact that people are excited does not mean that they are right. The fact that somebody is angry does not also mean that he's right. So, many times we confuse these things. Oh, if you go to court, Brenda is a, is a, is a, is a very, uh, very um, known articulate lawyer. No evidence when you bring for your judgment and the technicalities there. The judge does not invent anything. At the end of the day, there must be a loophole that he's going to exploit. And that, that loophole was put into the law by the politicians who made the law. So, where do you get the law from? The law is not manufactured by the judges. The people who made the law. So, the quality of people who you send to help you make law will determine the outcomes that you get on the other side. So this is a corporation. And in Nigeria, there is a conspiracy of the elite. Conspiracy of the elite. The judges, the executive, everybody is not working in the interest of the ordinary people. And
that brings me last to my last one, statistics. I'm glad you made that point, I'm glad you made that point very well. How do you describe where I live in Nigeria? Where I live now? If you, if you get to Ghana, you go left, you go right, and then you see, and then you see a tree. Or what does mean? Who knows? With the chicken that we eat, who takes a count of how many chicken has been slaughtered in Abuja in a day? Where is the statistics of what I have eaten? So, oh, poverty is the capital of the world. No wahala. Whose interest does that advance? Does it advance the interest of the World Bank and the IMF that needs that statistics to also school money away? Oh, under eight children are in the north. Oh, and who told you that there is no under eight children out of school children in my village who are not going to school? Ninety percent of the young people in my village are doing sand excavation and are taking uh, little little psychedelic drugs. Who wears the statistics? Who goes to my village to take that? So you sit in a cool air condition office, does your estimate that drives your political agenda, and all of us take it, swallow it to try and seek out where cracking. I am thinking that we need to have another debate. Because the conversation about Nigeria needs to deepen to the first, even the point of all the candidates that have come out in this election, what do they represent? No. In clear terms, what do they believe? What is their belief? Who interrogated their belief? All of them are market people. And what is market? Market is set, privatized, commercialized. In Lagos State, that is an urban slum. The last time anybody built house for the poor in Lagos was Jagondi. We have been developing VGC, Banana Island. For who? For the rich, we roll back the water. For who? The, the slums of Ajegule, the slums of Ogokumaiko, the slums of Ijorabadia. They are all there, thriving. Nobody is building any house for the poor. In Anambra State, people cannot drink public water supply. There is no fire service. In Adamawa State, everything that is in Adamawa is owned by that man. Those are the options that you people are trying with. And I'm thinking that we are going to make progress because we keep quiet and we, we just allow these things to rule. We are not yet ready for development. We are not cut out for development until they have conversation about what is even the ideology of the ruling class. What are they thinking about? In Abuja, where you are, under President Mohammed Buhari, more housing estates have emerged at any point in time in the history of this country. Go to Kasana, go to go to go to the barracks area. If you're looking at Abacha Barracks, down that way, the houses erupted like mushrooms. No private, no public hospital has been built. Roads are built without economic interest. So what are we talking about? If that debate is another debate, we what we came to discuss is 2023. And many times if we don't want to have that conversation. Elections are over. We can extract different people and put them in their box. Nigeria is put in the place where it's talking about which one is better than which. Not that they don't know what it is. They say someone, someone is, is much better than the others. But not that in, in character, integrity, and everything that you don't, you are just dealing with six, half a dozen. Thief, common man. Thank you very much.